Well, today I'm really, really excited to welcome someone who's not only been a terrific work colleague, she's a great friend, and she's someone who I respect very much, and she has some very special gifts to share with us today. So I would love to introduce to you Mia Otterson, and she is a course organizer and tutor at the Arthur Finley College. And she has her own school in Sweden, and she has been doing this work forever because she's eternal. And so welcome, Mia Otterson. Thank you, Helen. It's a <laughs> pleasure to be invited to you. Oh, thank you, Mia. It's great to see you, and it's great to be able to talk about this special aspect of mediumship that you have, spirit art. Well, it's... it's expressive and i love it I do. <laughs> and uh, i'm very i get bored very easily so i do a lot of things <laughs> <laughs> but i think what's interesting and and we'll talk through it all obviously but i think what's interesting is you found more than one way to express yeah. spirit creatively more than one medium as well not yeah. not just um, charcoal or paint or color lots of different ways yeah, yeah. do you, you know you enjoy the exploring different mediums and things yeah yeah absolutely yeah. so as soon as something new comes up i mean they're experimenting and i think you can use anything it's actually just a tool like the tarot cards or whatever it's just but, that you put your own expression onto it yeah and and it is a wonderful way of using color and creativity yeah as well isn't it so it's very personal i think it is very personal and especially if i do a, a soul picture something for someone you feel immediately if it does if it's not right or if you have to change it because for me the colors are very personal yeah definitely and yeah. it's something i studied quite some time ago i did a, a diploma course in in color mainly from the healing point of view but yeah. i hadn't realized just how powerful and significant color was as an energy yeah. until then. There's so much to it, isn't there? It is, and I've done a lot of studies over the years. And uh, I know, I mean, color is just broken light. And if you don't have the light, you know, we die. Yes. Yeah. So, and I know they did an experiment in Russia many, many years ago. And they put proper lightings in the schools. Mm. And if I don't remember wrong, I might be wrong, but I think the flu and the influenza went down by 40 to 60 percent because yeah. they have the right light. They had like the full spectrum, yeah. you know, proper like daylight or... Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I, I mean, when you think of the power, that's a fascinating study. Yeah. I must must have a look at that because that really interests me because yeah. I'm like that with sound as well. If you have the yeah. wrong frequencies, you don't, you get ill, you get yeah, sick. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's all about and, that energy. And I was quite a nerd when I started with the colors <laughs> and read a lot about it. And I remember I came across something, you know, when the fishes have this little rum, do you call it rum? Where the babies come from? No. When they lay the eggs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going with this, Mia? <laughs> uh, okay. So, when the, if you take the eggs and you put red light on them, uh -huh. they will be male fishes. And if you put yeah. blue light, they will be female fishes. That's interesting. Now that is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Now this is this is another thing which um, totally, I wasn't expecting to talk about this. But Jackie has <laughs> Jackie has a hobby. My partner has a hobby with certain chickens. She likes yeah. different breeds of chickens, and yeah. there are various stories that if you put certain lights on the eggs as you incubate them, yeah. will determine what sex you get. Whether it, yeah. it works, we haven't tried. We leave nature to do it, but yeah. But it's in a lot of people say it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just read about it. So. Yeah. We haven't. You haven't tried it on any fish eggs lately. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> but also, and when you think about it with color, like when a baby is born and it, its liver isn't working, it has jaundice. Yeah. So they put 
the the full spectrum lights on to yeah. get the liver working the bilirubin and yeah. um you know and we have um the ultraviolet lights for certain skin conditions can yes. be cured mm -hmm. or, or you know arrested so we know it's so important in our lives yeah. don't we yeah and, yeah and if you look at business they use different colors i mean there's a reason yeah. china's use red i think <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Red, go there, but <laughs> but it is a it is a color and Russia as well uses it's a color of power, isn't it? Red, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, it's it's a very powerful color, so yeah, yeah. very earthy and yeah, yeah. so yeah, it's it's uh, it it is interesting, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. tell, tell me, how did you incorporate the art and the color and all this creative work with your mediumship? When did all that begin? Oh, it started about 96, 97, I think. And it was actually every medium, when I started my search, my spiritual search, every medium I came across, and everyone said, colors is important for you, me. And I thought, yeah, sure, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that was going on and on and on. And uh, 98, I was at Arthur Finley College for the first time. And it was with the International Spiritualist Federation. Yes. Yeah. And I was lucky because it was Rita Taylor, Colin Hall and Alan Stattel was there. Yeah. And I ended up in Alan Stattel's art class. And so I saw three different styles of how they're doing their art with mediumship. Yeah. So when I came home from there, I started to do my autographs because I thought they are nice. Yeah. Yeah. And even though I do portraits, I always said that it must be much nicer to have a beautiful picture than a half done grandmother, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean. Yeah. 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 Because in, in my, uh, even though I know it's a revelation for some people when they're recognizing the father or the mother on my pictures. So, but for me, if I get a half done picture of my grandma, I, I'm sure I would be more happy with a colorful picture, which I like. Yeah, I understand. Um, I understand. But that is something you do, isn't it? You do live demonstration with yeah. a medium. You're a medium anyway, but you yeah. will also sometimes do the art side of it while the medium demonstrates and you yeah. you make a connection and yeah and then you present you know the the results yeah yes you enjoy doing that honestly i'll I cut this i'll cut this out if you want me to <laughs> no, no, no. honestly i enjoy doing a couple of pictures a couple yeah. of portraits after that i get bored yeah. And I know it's going to sound awful, but with the technique I have of drawing faces, because I can't draw, which, you know, I sent you some pictures from the beginning, but the technique I'm using now, it feels like I'm doing the same picture over and over and over. Right. So after the second picture, I got, ah, oh, another one. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I think, yeah, so the creative expression is when you're not doing it on demand for an yeah. audience. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it is a wonderful experience to either be a medium working with a spirit artist or be in the audience or just to yeah. witness it. Um, but I can understand that because it has a set purpose of evidence yeah. that you haven't got the creative expression that you can have in the classroom or in your own time or one-to-one. No. -one. Yeah. I'm just so, doing face after face, you know, and yeah, uh, yeah, I get bored I, and I know it sounds awful, but um, yeah, I do it. Uh, I do five, six portraits in a yeah. row, but they're really good as well. <laughs> they are really good, but I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just, I just wondered, um, we've got this wonderful PowerPoint. If you could talk us through it, which is with all your spirit art and ideas and that. So if I get that up, let's just get that up now and we start that. So, these, so these, these, if you talk us through this, that'd be amazing. Yeah. Uh, 
the, uh, this is how my portraits can look if I put a little bit of time and effort into them. Yeah. So if I sit at home for about 45 minutes and, you know, I can put layer after layer on them. Yeah. Then they can look like that. When I'm doing a demonstration, it's more a rough sketch, so to speak. Yeah. And the second one is my orographs, uh, yeah. which I used to do back in time. Yeah. But uh, to be able to do orographs, draw and talk at the same time, I, if I'm doing an orograph with dry pastels, it, it takes me a long time. That's why yeah. I'm going over to the wax pictures, you know, because then I can do my sittings for about 20 minutes and then the last 10 minutes I do the picture and I use the colors I've been picking up in the auric field or right. colors who should be like a reminder to them. It's all connected. Is this the one with all the blue? Is that the encaustic with the waxes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. I did have a go at that a few years ago and it was amazing and you start yeah. to see so much in them and like little yeah. people and and creatures and things it's amazing Absolutely. what happens yeah, yeah. It, it is amazing what i i do love about your portraits and always have loved about your portrait spirit art is how how alive they are now yeah. i know this is spirit art and I, you know i hope that doesn't sound respectful but the eyes and everything it's like you have brought their face back to life again and it's amazing. I think a lot of people say that and I think it is because because I couldn't draw I can't do the egg and uh, where the eyes and the mouth and the, everything should be you know so I just sculpture it and my artist actually told me that the face is already uh, on the paper I just have to bring it forward ah it's fascinating to hear yeah. this yeah. yeah oh thank you Mia I always said or are saying to the students that be happy of the progress you are doing while you're doing it. Yeah. Because if I look at this picture, my orographs here on the top, I was very happy with them at the time. If I look at them now, I'm not so happy, you know, because you're right. progressing. Yeah. But I remember it so well because the third picture to the right. Yeah. When I did that one, I was in Canada. Yeah. And I was also with the ISF and I did three demonstrations that week. Yes. And we was probably about four to six people demming every night and we did two contacts each. Yeah. And while the others start demming, I started to do two orographs. And this one I was doing on my hotel room. I was playing with it and I thought, now nah, I got it. Now I found my style. This is how I'm going to do orographs. Ah. And that was the last one I really did. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I've done some orographs, but not on stage like I used to do them. Yeah. yeah. Because the third demonstration there, I showed my first portrait for the first time. And it was a lady in the front to recognize yeah. a little brother. And... I remember I cried because I felt so humble that the spirit wanted to work with little old me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it really is incredible. I, I love how it evolves. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's how they usually look like when I'm, when I'm doing it with pastels. Yeah, it's beautiful colors, aren't they? They're really, I love the blending of these colors. Yeah. yeah. Aha, what's <laughs> happening here? Ah, oh, that's how my portraits look when I started to practice. This is 99. <laughs> 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 and I think when I cleared up my whole room, I throw away the most of it. But I, I saved some because when people, when I say to people today that I couldn't draw, they don't believe me. Yeah. But this actually gives encouragement to everyone. <laughs> you know, it does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it it's true because i always say i can't draw yeah and and you know it it would be great if, if i did have the discipline to follow it through to be able to look back and see how far it's come and also yeah. 
how encouraging because that's what you spirit artists always do you say anyone can do this yeah and and uh, i always think no nah, it's just not me you know i'm better with electronics but um but then again yeah perhaps we all can i don't know yeah i i, I know just with my technique when i take them step by step and the most enjoyable with it is that everyone is so shocked that wow it is a face you know i can't draw and look here it is a face yes yeah so i think that's the beauty of it and if you then practice from there on i know spirit will step in and guide you and find their way to inspire you yeah I asked uh, these some more earlier ones as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the next picture <laughs> is when I try to do wrinkles. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, you know, from there to where I am today is a huge, huge leap. So, <laughs> and this is how I actually show how you as an artist put your own mind into things yes yeah so if you look at them you can see it's the same woman i've done on all five pictures oh yeah but i try to do different things with it but it's the same mouth it's the same eyes it's the same shape you know so Isn't the sixth picture i actually did was an old lady with a bun on her head oh, so it's yeah. a shame i don't have that one ah. and this one I went to Art of Finlay on my first art course, and it was with Alan Stuttle. And he said to me, if you have an artist with you who inspires you, you should be able to do it on your left hand. And I'm right-handed. And this was the first picture I did. And this was on your left hand and your right yeah. hand? Oh, my goodness. And those eyes, they're absolutely so alive and vibrant. Yeah. And that taught me a great lesson you know that i shouldn't fiddle too much not be too fussy with it you know yeah it's, so to, it's lovely yeah so today when i'm doing it i i don't care if a line comes out of place you know i, I just let it be it whatever happened happens you know yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's like it is true art then really isn't it it's not saying i want to draw something that is the exact replica of something a copy it is an interpretation and what yeah. will be will be yeah. yeah oh these are wonderful oh that's also um, a picture where i put a little bit more time and effort into them yeah yeah it's very rare i do that today because yes. i mean i could probably make a fortune by doing guides <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I know that when a guide comes through, it's very rare for me. Yeah. It's very, very rare. Yeah. So if I would do that, it, it would just as well could be my imagination. Yes. It, it's so, a spontaneous thing, isn't it? Yeah. So the few times I'm doing guides, it, it's for me personally, it is like an urge. It's like I start to itch. I have to get this down on the paper now. Yeah. And that's when they're coming through properly for me. Yeah. And you, so, feel, you feel when you ask the spirit to come in, you feel their presence as you're drawing. And do you feel a change in the no. way you're working? Yeah. No. Yeah. I don't feel a thing, uh, actually, uh, when I'm doing my portrait because I'm just focusing uh, on one piece at a time on the paper. Yeah. Yeah. And because I don't feel them blend with me, I just trust that they are there. Yes, just trust, yeah. And I think I've been lucky because I see energy and sometimes I can see energy on the paper when I'm working. Right. So I know they are there trying to inspire me and that helped me a lot when you doubt yourself. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, we, we've come to the wax. Fantastic. Yeah. This is my early picture. Yeah. The first one I used to do. Wow. And for, for anyone who hasn't heard of encaustic wax, how would you describe it, how it works? Uh, you have like a traveling iron, but yeah. a special one. Yes. And you put the, the bee wax on top of it, and then you just pull the iron on a certain way. So it's more about technique than actually being able to draw. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's beautiful. It really is. Yeah, the colours are coming up very strongly, so they are nice. And the, these are encaustic wax. As yeah, well. they are mixed with encaustic wax and uh, acrylic. Oh no, I haven't heard about them being mixed before. This is new to me. Oh, this is what I play with at home. It, I usually never show that picture on the PowerPoint, but you just got it all when I send it over to you. <laughs> all right, yeah. <laughs> but but how do you get these effects? Like in this one, this blue one on the far right. Yeah. Uh, on the, sorry, on the left, the the big one on the, on its own. Yeah. Like you have all the reflection and the light in the center. How can you do that with wax and acrylics? How does that work? If I should be honest, it's more luck. <laughs> <laughs> because I can't really control it that much. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so clever. It really yeah. is. I mean... <laughs> this is you yeah. working. This is you about to work, is it? Yeah, it's a short video. It doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> oh, not to worry. No. Right. Oh, I'll stop the share there. That's wonderful, Mia. So um, I think it's just so nice, isn't it, to see this expression of art and spirit. Yeah. And um, what particularly strikes me is a lot of people do think, oh, it has to be all people and faces. Yeah. And, and, and actually it, it, it's so much more to it. I think so, and I just love the, the colors and to actually let your own expressiveness come through when you're doing an autograph or a soul picture. When you do the portrait, you're just doing the face, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. I can't and put my own interpretation into it. Are you doing any more experimentations? Have you got any more art experimentations I'm planned? Yeah, I'm doing a lot with the iPad at the moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, I, do you uh, use... That's really enjoyable. Which program do you use on the iPad? Procreate. Oh, I have that, yes. Yeah. It's, it's very powerful, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's lovely to work with. And I do, usually do a lot of soul pictures on it. And, you know, you can put layer after layer. And if you're not happy, you're just taking it away. You never have to be afraid that you overwork it. And, you know, so... Yeah. You are more freely when you're working with that one. It's a good plan, actually, because, yeah. like you say, if you mess up the paper and feel you need yeah. to start again, but there you just remove the layer or use yeah. the eraser or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I really love it. And I'm starting to do some portraits on it. Yes. But I'm not quick with it yet. Yeah. But I hope I will be one day because then you can connect the iPad to the screen, you know. Yeah. And so they can watch on the big screen the process. That would be really good. And I guess yeah. if you were doing them for somebody, you know, somebody commissioned you, yeah. you can then email it to them, can you? Or, yeah. 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 Fantastic. So it would save it. It wouldn't be damaged in the post or anything like no. that. And then they could get it printed and framed yeah. if they wished. Yeah. Yeah. I have a couple of girls from Switzerland. I've done their soul pictures on my iPad and I just emailed them with my descriptions of them and they're printing them out like big posters now. Isn't that wonderful? And they're really coming out nice. Yeah, yeah. that's fantastic. Um, Mia, it's been absolutely amazing. It's such an adventure. I, I could talk to you for hours about this and discuss everything with the colours and the mediums and everything. But what I wondered was... Have you got anything uh, uh, coming up or any plans for any spirit art courses or, or anything? I do about? actually. And uh, I'm doing my first week with uh, Spirit Art 2021 at Arthur Finley College. Hey, so mm -hmm. we can look out. If we go onto the Arthur Finley College website, we can find yep. that. What yep. month is that in? I think it's in February. Oh, that's exciting. So hopefully yes, the, all this thing with the corona has Yeah, by. we, we yeah. hope by then we, yeah. we, we have, uh, yeah, it is difficult at the moment, isn't and it? And I'm really looking forward to that one because I will bring in uh, other psychic artists every time so they yeah. can not just look at how I'm doing it, but different styles. Yes, of course, yeah. definitely, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And 
if anybody would like to get in touch with you and find out about your courses and what what you do as a medium and the training that you offer what's the best way for them to find you on the email email right yeah. what or facebook is good facebook's a good one yeah yeah, yeah. So you're on Facebook. That's brilliant, Mia. What yeah. I'll do is I'll put a little link down in the description yeah. to your Facebook page, if that's okay, then yep, that's people fine. can find you there. But I, I want, I've enjoyed it so much. And, Thank you for inviting me. And I, I love say, talking about it, so it's been a pleasure. Yeah, and, and, and I think that's it, is your passion and enthusiasm comes through. It's It, it just makes everyone want to smile. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you, Mia, so uh, much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. It's you. been a pleasure.